Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a review today and we're going to be talking about a new product which is just launched in the market and we're going to be like trying it out, testing it out and I'm going to be telling you all the pros and cons and literally everything about the product. So let's start off. So we're going to be reviewing the Swiss Beauty HD Matte Lipsticks and I did try them out. I've been testing them out for like a couple of days. So coming to this range, they have about 24 lipstick shades, which I think is a great line of lipsticks for a new launch from Swiss Beauty. So these are the lipsticks that came inside the box and I have four shades to review for you guys. So let's start off. So this lipstick from Swiss Beauty retails for 2.99 rupees, which I think is a great deal. And it has 3.5 grams of product in it. And considering that and the quality that you're getting, I think it's at a very good affordable price. So coming to the packaging, it looks super chic and it looks so elegant it looks great on my vanity i love the finish it basically comes in a matte black packaging and it is a bullet lipstick and along with that they are also color coordinated in the bottom and on the top you have the color of the cap which makes it all the more easier even if you place your lipsticks upside down so this one has a twist up packaging where the lipstick comes out all the way and there's quite a lot of product in it 3.5 grams is a good amount of product especially for the price that you're getting it and the quality so one disadvantage of the packaging is that it has magnets only on like two corners so if you close it with like the other two corners it does not really align and you know like the cap doesn't really shut so it can be a bit of a hassle during travel and every time you shut your lipsticks you need to make sure that the magnets are aligned which is a little bit of a task to me so another thing that I noticed is that the formulation of these lipsticks are like very comparable to the Huda Beauty's uh, the powder matte powder bullet something you know like one of those lipsticks so they feel like they feel very similar they have that same that smooth application on your lips but i would say the huda one is slightly more long lasting but at the same time it is more drying than the swiss beauty one so you know it's kind of a trade-off between both so coming to something which is very important when it comes to a lipstick is definitely the lipstick's texture so these are extremely soft they're very finely milled they're no chunks or like you know grainy stuff in it which is just amazing like i've been wearing this for about like two hours right now and I do not feel like my lips are drying out and it lasts for a very long time. So these lipsticks are extremely opaque and I didn't have to go back in front to get the right amount of opacity I want. So that is something which is quite good. So with just like one swipe of the lipstick, you do get a full opaque finish. So when it comes to the application of these lipsticks, these glide on your lips like super soft. They're so smooth. They're very creamy. They're very buttery. So they do not really cling and tug at your lips, which is something I totally hate with matte lipsticks but this does not happen with this one which is quite good even if you do not have a lip balm underneath your you know like underneath your lipstick it does not really tug and it does not cause that you know like it doesn't cause that irritation when you're actually applying your lipstick which is an amazing thing so i've been trying and testing lipsticks for so long that one thing i noticed with all the matte lipsticks is that they tend to you know like they tend to crumble on your lips and if you go like suppose if you go like back and front with the same lipstick it does give you like a ball type of thing coming on your lip which is just gross i do not like that at all and it just sits and just accumulates on your lips but that did not happen with this one so i just want to do a couple of tests so i just want to do a couple of test to see how it works under you know like some of the conditions that we live in so the first thing is the transfer test Okay, so it does transfer like to the slightest extent, especially, you know, like the inner part of the mouth, but the other regions, you know, it just seems fine. So let's see whether, yeah, but it does not really lift off the product from your lips. So there's still like a lot of it going on. It still looks good as new, but there is the most slightest amount of transfer with this one. So the next way that we're going to test the lipstick is something which is going to be helpful for a lot of us, which is to see whether the lipstick layers well or not. So right now it's the two layers of the lipstick and I applied the second layer after the first one was like completely dried. So, you know, considering that it did not really budge, like I don't see any of that flakiness going on or the lipstick just forming like tiny, tiny balls on top of your lips. I hate that feeling. So considering that it still looks creamy, it looks smooth. And one thing that I'm noticing is that it does, you know, accentuate the lines on your lips a tad bit more than the first layer. But, but nevertheless, considering the fact that I'm actually wearing two layers of lipstick, I think the formulation is really good because it is very thin and it does not really start to get crusty on your lips. So hats off to Swiss Beauty for this formulation. 
So next up, we're going to move on to something that you all wanted and something that you're waiting for, which is the swatches. So just for reference, I'm an NC40 in MAC and 3110 in Maybelline. So, you know, if that's somehow helpful to you to understand how the shades would look on you, then you should definitely try out all the shades that I'm using right now. So the first shade is 08 Peach Day and this one is a dusty pink, which looks great as a nude for me. So next up, we have Levin Chocolava, which is a solid vintage brown lipstick. Also, for those of you who are more on the deeper skin spectrum, this would look great on you. Next up, the shade 05 Fire Pink just goes with the name and it's definitely a very hot, fiery Barbie pink. The last shade is 17 Fresh Red, which is more of a neutral red. So this shade is a definite must buy if you're looking for a lipstick which isn't too flashy and gorgeous. So let me know which other products you would like me to try and test out from Swiss Beauty and do give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, bye!